we breathe in and out through our nose. Now, when we run a mile, we tend to take deep breaths through our mouth. So there must be a connection between the nose and the mouth through which the air travels into the lungs. Now we breathe in through our nose. The nose openings are known as nostrils. Now the air passes through the nose and opens through this pharynx into the mouth. And that is the reason we are able to breathe in through the mouth as well. This is because pharynx is the common area between the nostrils and the mouth where air gets collected. Now in today's world where there are so many automobiles and factories, the air is getting immensely polluted. And this polluted air is very toxic and can cause a lot of toxicity or harm in our body. So our body needs a defense mechanism against these toxic air. Otherwise, this can make us very sick. So the mechanism that our body takes against these dust particles or these pollutants in the air is that we have hair present inside our nose. So nose hair. And our nose also secretes a slimy substance which is known as the mucus. Now when we breathe in the polluted air, the nose hair and the mucus present inside our nose traps these dust particles or pollutants, facilitating the entry of only fresh air inside our body. Now we breathe in and that process is known as inspiration. Now while inspiration, our chest rises. So what is happening? Well, we breathe in through our nostrils or our mouth. The air travels through the pharynx and then it travels down this pipe which is known as the trachea. So this pipe-like structure through which the air passes is known as the trachea and then the air reaches into these balloon-like structures which are known as the lungs. We have two lungs in our body. So the air gets collected into these balloon-like lungs. Now, just like a huge tree has a main trunk and then it gets further branched into several smaller branches like these, similarly, the trachea gets branched into two main branches known as the bronchi. These are the bronchi. Now the bronchi gets further divided into smaller branches known as the bronchioles. So see, they get further divided into smaller branches like these and they are known as the bronchioles. Now the bronchioles end in sac-like structures like these and these sac-like structures are known as the alveoli. So when we inspire air, these alveoli being sac-like structures and elastic in nature, they bulge out, which in turn causes the lungs to get inflated. Now another thing, notice that these alveoli on the walls of these alveoli are many blood vessels. 
Now these blood vessels that are present on the alveoli helps in the gaseous exchange. So when we inspire air, the alveoli which are the sac like structures bulge out and in turn our lungs inflate. Now notice this picture. See, this is the trachea. Now what are these structures present on the trachea? Well, these are cartilaginous rings and they have a C shape. So the trachea is lined by C shaped cartilaginous rings which keeps it from collapsing. If these cartilaginous rings were not present in absence of air inside the trachea, the trachea would have collapsed. That is, the two walls of the trachea would have come close to each other, preventing from respiration. So, these cartilaginous rings support the trachea. We have often faced this situation. When we suck out all the air from the straw, the straw collapses. That is, the two walls of the straw come, come closer to each other and that prevents us from drinking our cola. So similarly, if there were no cartilaginous rings, the trachea would have collapsed, preventing us from breathing air. Now, I want you to do a small experiment now. Now, touch this portion of your neck. See, there is a bulge. So, this portion of your neck, just below the pharynx, this is the pharynx. So, this portion is right below the pharynx and above the trachea and is known as the larynx which is the voice box of our body. That is, it generates the sound. Now touch this portion once again. See, when you are talking, this larynx is continuously vibrating. So why is it vibrating? What is causing this vibration? Let us see. See, while talking, we do not inhale air, but we are exhaling air. Now, while exhaling air, the air molecules that we exhale out cause a vibration in the muscles present in the larynx. And that is generating the sound and it helps us in talking. So, larynx is the voice box of our body.